So I guess the first question is, um, tell me what happened tonight. <laughs> All right, you want to take this one? <laughs> He said that he planned a date for me, and he said it was a casual date, like nothing too crazy, but he's known to plan super extravagant dates. Like that's, that's literally what he's known for, so I knew something, it was gonna be something nice. So I thought um, in the beginning, first stop was the Grapevine Botanical Gardens, and we went there and we had fun, we were walking, and then we had an escape room, which I knew about planned with my brother, and my cousin, and we like love to do escape rooms. It's definitely our thing. So I'm Farwa. I am Hera and Gomel's older sister. And I know she's known what she's wanted for a very long time. So when I first met Vanveer, I had a really good feeling. And now we're here. It's what, January? And I'm watching my baby sister get proposed to. I wanted to do something memorable, something special. Uh, in escape rooms, we've done about three already. Yeah. Uh, and I kind of felt an escape room is kind of like a nice um, metaphor for like a relationship. Like, you know, you're working together to, to solve a problem. Get open. Look at the clock. 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 You're supposed yeah. to know how it works. No! We are at the escape room. Yeah, we're waiting to laugh at Tanweer and uh, Hira yeah. for failing this escape room. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens next. So I remember Tanweer telling us at the lunch table and... At just, home? At home. Okay. Just the way he spoke about her. Um, and actually just weeks leading up to it, I, I saw the changes in, in him. And yeah, like yeah, good changes. Good yeah. changes. Yeah, he started actually, you know, cleaning up a little bit. Yeah. More responsible. Um, and yeah, we, we knew she was the one. I, told, I called the escape room people and we kind of put it together. Uh, even the room theme was, uh, it was very, it was very proposal themed because we were breaking into a jewelry store for a gift. <laughs> and she didn't pick on to that. No, I didn't. And then we had like postcards of all the places we've traveled to in the escape room. So she didn't pick up on that. <laughs> Uh -huh. So I saw the postcards and I was like, oh, I've been to all these places, how odd. But I didn't know that they were places that we've been on vacation to. When we just entered the escape room, I was already so nervous. Uh, and we usually do pretty well at escape rooms. Uh, but this time, like, I was blanking out. Yeah, he was off. I was like, I was, what's like, going on here? Puzzles. I'm like, I don't know what to do. And I was like, I just need to just get to the end <laughs> so I could propose. I don't want to get stuck here. <laughs> So the moment he proposed, we had just finished the escape room and there was a box and I thought it was for another clue. Wish you, will you marry me? What is this? Uh, and then the final moment uh, when I was about to propose, um, I was so nervous I forgot what I was going to say. So I was just like, uh, will you marry me? <laughs> and uh, do you have that speech on you? Yeah, I have that speech on me, yeah. It's a Started our journey 1,500 miles away, and about a year and a half ago. And I, I didn't know where, where it would take us, but as we got closer, the distance started mattering less and less. And over time, I found out how loving, generous, how priceless you were. and. I realized that this is this is the one. This is the one I want to I want to continue this journey for for the rest of my life with. And uh, I found my perfect diamond. Will you marry me? Yes. This is so pretty. <laughs> I always had this feeling in my heart that he was the one, but I thought I was crazy. 
and I didn't want to, I didn't, I didn't know if I wanted to be con confirmed because I was just so scared and overwhelmed of my feelings for him. Um, it was just so intense. It was so different and so intense from the beginning. And he was always so effortless. Like, we're long distance, but I genuinely feel like we're together every day, and that's super rare. Let's just run, girl. If we wake up and you wanna break up. We always had uh, amazing conversations. Uh, like even though we're long distance, we're able to talk for hours on end. So I knew there was something special from from the get go. It's the best feeling in the world, and I know our grandmother is here, and she's so happy and so proud of you, Hira. Yeah. I, I'm nervous, as you can tell, but I'm equally so happy. I'm equally so, so happy for you. I love you, and I wish you and Thanvir the best, most happiest life ever.